How could gamers ever deserve a Nobel Prize? Um, well, in addition to making games, I also do research. Um, I did a PhD at UC Berkeley studying the impact of games on our real lives. And uh, my really, my area of interest is the skill and, and abilities that we develop by playing games and how we can use them to collaborate in real life, to solve real problems. And so today, I'm gonna to talk to you about just one of the skills that these one billion gamers are developing. And that skill is resilience, okay? It turns out that games are an outstanding platform for building resilience, which is the ability to stay motivated, determined, and optimistic even in the face of extreme challenge. It's the ability to get stronger when we confront difficulty rather than becoming weaker. Now, scientists have been studying resilience for decades, or mental resilience, physical resilience, and it turns out that there are three things that we need in order to build our resilience. The first is positive emotion. They've figured out that there's a ratio of positive emotions to negative emotions that we need to hit in order to become more resilient. It's three to one. Okay, so we need emotions like curiosity and surprise and awe and wonder, three for every one negative emotion in order to be resilient. We also need strong social ties. We need at least two to three people that we see in person at least once a week who we feel like we can ask for help. That's incredibly important for resilience. And the third thing is that we have to put ourselves through a process that the researchers call stress-related growth. So this means that we wholeheartedly engage with something that is extremely difficult for us, and we stay engaged, and we don't give up. And if we do stay engaged, then that's how we become resilient. So if you think about games, and you look at the research around gaming, it turns out that all three of these components are happening all the time when we play. So the industry studies video gamers and how they feel when they play. There's research all over the internet, you can look it up, but every game produces a signature positive emotion, whether it's delight or surprise or pride or curiosity. So we get that when we play. You can just look at the faces of gamers and you see that happening. Research also shows that games build really strong social ties. Just one of my favorite studies came out earlier this year from Brigham Young University School of Family Life. And it reported that kids who play games with their parents have, among other things, much stronger relationship, much stronger communication, that they're significantly more likely to come to their parents to talk about a problem they're having or to ask for help. So we see exactly the kind of social relationships coming from playing games together that can build resilience. And then, of course, stress-related growth. I mean, that's the very definition of a game, right? As we play games and we get good at them, the games get harder. They're constantly keeping us on the edge of our abilities. We fail all the time. In fact, gamers, when they're playing their favorite games, fail 80% of the time, 8-0. So compared to real life, that's, that's quite a lot of stamina in the face of failure. Um, and they do have that opportunity to be resilient in the face of failure.